<laughs> it's great to get back early. She was a witch. She drowned. <gasps> For the love of St. Benji in a brothel. Who or what have you got there, Pod? Uh, Rog, Mildred, uh, Mildred Rog. <clears throat> She's my new security device, if you must know. Uh, <coughs> what? Uh, like a, a smoke alarm? Yeah, I thought I smelled burning rubber. Shut up, you scuttering gobsheen. She's a, a burglar deterrent. If the burglars see two people in the room when they peer through the windows, they are less likely to rob the place. <clears throat> all right. Oh, that explains it so, but yeah. that, What was all that grunting and squeaking I heard when I came in? Uh, I, I was inflating her with me foot pump. <laughs> Didn't look like a foot you were pumping her with. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, well, see Councillor Goggins is off to Brussels again. Oh. Says he's off to get some... Uh, EEC money for the bypass. I doubt that. That's a big scam. Huh? All them politicians go to Brussels to get new organs. Huh? Body parts of all kinds. New fingers if you get one lopped off. New liver if yours is looking a bit yellow. New head if you like. Now, where would you be getting a head that would be an identical match of your own? Clones, Rog. Identical beings growing from samples of your DNA. Now, that's science fiction, Pudge. It's science fact, Raj. Eh, so right, if I accidentally, uh, chopped me foot off whilst, uh, digging a makeshift grave, eh, uh, how, how would it work? Uh, you'd simply ring Brussels, uh, tell them what body part you needed, they'd chop it off your double and have it ready to be attached upon your arrival. In the top secret high security centre, there was a young body double known as RX-75. So far, he hadn't lost any body parts to his owner and felt like the luckiest double alive. His best friend, Z7, had donated 50% of his body to his owner and was still only alive because of half a mile of tubing and a plastic sack where his arse used to be. Jesus, so what kept them going? Well, they were told that if they outlived their owners, they would be given a name, a new identity, and set free into the real world. <gasps> RX-75 used to dream of the outside world. And every couple of years, a, a double would be released, and then all the clones gathered to cheer the lucky one as they boarded the lift of new beginnings. RX-75's friend used to tell him, I feel your time for freedom will come soon. Oh, was that the arse bag, lad? No. Huh? It was his secret girlfriend. Oh, right. She wasn't much to look at, as her owner had quite a few plastic surgery disasters. Most of her body surface had been, well, stripped away for skin grafts, but he loved her all the same. He made a pact with his girlfriend that whichever of them got out first would wait for the other, and they would live out their remaining years together and free. So did they ever get free? Oh, yeah. Aged 43 and without a single surgical procedure in his lifetime, RX-75's number was called on the intercom. We would like to inform you that your owner has died, and we are obliged to end your incarceration here. From this day forth, your given name will be... John Burns. Then he returned to his group of friends and bade them farewell. Out of earshot of the guards, he told his girlfriend his new name and that he would soon see her on the outside. A tear of joy rolled down her face as he boarded the lift of new beginnings. I hate a happy ending. Oh, it doesn't end there. The lift began its descent. He could hear the cheer of his friends fade away from above. In a few seconds, he would taste fresh air for the first time. The doors opened. He was blinded by the light flooding in. And the flames in the cloning facility's very own crematorium. <gasps> Jeez, I thought they were going to be set free when the owners died. Not at all. They lied to them. Once the owner died, there was no money to pay for the clone's upkeep. Sure, there was no use for them anywhere. What about your man's girlfriend? Well, as he went down the lift, she smiled and repeated her lover's new name. A name she needed to remember for when her time for freedom would come. John Burns. John Burns. <laughs> burn! 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 burn. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> we are. Anyway, uh, yeah, yeah, right. Night, Rog. Uh, night, Podge. Night, Mildred. Uh, Podge. What? Did you not put the cat out? I think it's in the bed. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> That'd be Mildred. She's uh, very realistic. <laughs> <laughs>